So I want you to take a peek at the cycle on this. Unfortunately, I'm going to move it forward and I'll show you why here in a second. But check this out. How little effort does that take? Almost nothing to get this thing to turn. Unbelievable. So, I'm super happy about that. Unfortunately, you can see it's really close when it's on flat ground and actually oh, point both of them in here. So you can see now with the wheels pointed in, there's really not much clearance. There's the half inch that I kind of planned for. And I knew, I didn't really, well, I knew something. <laughs> so. Check out what happens when you lift. Pretty much touches right there. Up on a two inch block, I got plenty of clearance on this side. This side, not so much. So there's not enough for swing room and I don't want to make this any wider than it already is. So I'm going to actually take this front end, this whole bar assembly, and I'm going to move it from this side to this side. And that'll make it about five inches forward, give the casters plenty of clearance. Alright, so this is how it sits with the pivot in the front. See the space I got? Plenty of room. Even when they're flopping around and up, you can see I got a couple little tabs and I tacked up, tacked together, drilled out. Um, so basically, I am trying to decide whether I want to build something from here to there that hangs from this frame that's adjustable like the rear, or if I want to tie this to this and if I do that then I literally would have to do nothing more to make the adjustment work in the front it would just build a triangle here and it would probably be super rugged so I've been hashing that out and then I want to um, I want to put my electronics and my batteries back here and I'm going to try to keep everything in bound of the tire so I'm getting there, building uh, building the next steps. At least I have this is all together now. I did determine that I'm going to use these springs, these limit springs. They work great. I did uh, I did bolt them in there for a little bit to see, but they give it enough freedom of movement that if this thing does a, a wheelie by chance, that the wheels aren't going to just fold over on its side because that used to occasionally happen with the other one when I'd turn real fast and take a... if the leading wheel took a drop off as you were turning it would have a tendency to roll the whole axle over. So I'm excited to share it guys. Check it out. almost ready to cut some grass. So this is what we got at this point. It's going to be a short video. Um, this is as far as I got. I got the front end, the wheelbase is sorted. I've got what looks like a rear bumper here now. And I'm kind of just briefly laying out all my parts. Make sure I'm going to have enough room in the box when I'm done building it. But basically, this height right here is three inches, and I'm going to bring this box out three inches all the way around. So it'll be kind of like a T. And I'm going to box this section in. It should allow me enough room later on if I wanted to add a battery or even two, I should be able to do that. I may have to build the box a little deeper to fit these switches in, or at least one switch. 
So I think that's kind of going to be the lid up in here. And the switch will either be out here or I think I'm going to want it out where it's accessible. I may end up running wires up through this hole in this tube to get an antenna out up top. You don't want your antenna in a metal enclosure. Bad things will happen. <laughs> so there it is. I'm going to get more done on it this week. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.